welcome to the channel. It's good to see you guys back. Guys, we've got an epic day today. We're heading, we're using my EV97 Eurostar. Um, for those of you who've seen the last video, you'll see that it's quite a cute looking little plane and it, it's got an immense range. But guys, we're gonna be heading north this time and the weather outside is actually looking pretty darn good. So hopefully it won't be too thermic. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the route, yeah? This is Rob from Netherthorpe and look at that, beautiful. So he's just gave me a wonderful welcome. So guys, I'm telling you now I'm here safe. <laughs> awesome. Oh, they're, they're both run well. What's wrong? No, where you Tell oh, them about what, this trip, what, tell them about this trip, this trip. All oh, right, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is in the Eurostar, guys. In the yeah. Eurostar, 2005. We went as far yeah. as uh, near the Spanish border. Does he, yeah, on the south. Yeah. See what I said? And then, well, we we're going to fly into Italy, but the weather was low pressure. The weather was bad. So, it's uh, got the Mistral winds, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, we, we decided decent weather was in the Alps, in the French Alps. Okay. Yeah. So, we then flew into the lower French Alps uh, and found that. shocking weather. That's from Never No, it was good weather Choice. initially. Now, we flew into. Uh, <coughs> no, that was on the way back, weren't yeah. it? Where we're flying to? Yes, that's it. We went to uh, place beginning with A. Annecy. Annecy. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was going to yeah. go paragliding there. Yeah. Annecy. They, yeah. It's big rocks. I've not there been there, but yeah, I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, so I was going off. Annecy. So yeah, we flew. We flew about the same height as them, but we were over the water. They were over yeah. the mountains. Yeah. yeah. No way. And then on the way back, yeah. uh, we hit bad weather. We, we knew we had to get out of Annecy because it, there's high mountains and there's a front approach in. Yeah. So we managed to squeeze through between squeeze the cloud through, at the top of the mountain. Right. And dangerous we, stuff, boys. <laughs> dangerous stuff. And then we're good. Well, as next stop was yeah. Troy. Troy's. Yeah. But within half an hour, oh, the wow. weather come in, and we diverted to a place called Macron. Too, Macron. 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 <laughs> yeah. And there was no winds. We saw, I mean, nobody on the radio. Is this the south of France? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. south of France. And there's a wind sock, literally straight across the runway. No, we couldn't see it because it was completely covered in rain. We couldn't even see the runway. So you had crosswind landing I had to in like, rain. Yeah, well, um, but yeah, but like Tony's saying, the, uh, the rain was so heavy, you couldn't see the runway very well. But we did see the wind sock, you're right. So we kept, we called on the radio, no calls back. So we just called the runway we were going to go on. We landed in absolutely pouring, and then there was two Jodels landing in the opposite direction. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I pulled off the runway quick while they got in. So if there's a crosswind, you could land either way. Well, yeah. Well, nobody was on the radio. We yeah. thought we were going to get a right roast in, <laughs> right? And we, thought, we tried to apologise. After about 10 minutes of it raining, you know, it's, it uh, <coughs> gradually subsided. Subsided. So we could open the canopy and get out. I know. So we, we you know, uh, we yeah, apologised no and thinking, oh, God, we're going to get around. Right. They didn't say anything. No. And, and, and oh, the guy says, yeah, said, no problem, yeah, wind sock. Well. Either way, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Typical French, yeah, laid back. Definitely. <laughs> oh, man. That, that is. It got, it got bad weather because Tony, I flew into Macon. Oh. In the, in the heavy rain, but it's only flew into Bezier in the heavy crosswind. 13 oh, hours. Were you in two separate aircraft? No, no, same same aircraft. We, we, we took it in turns. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That was nice and sunny, but 
There's about 20 knot crosswind. At least. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's only 10 for the Eurostar, well, isn't it? Well, sorry, <laughs> it's well, too slow. Yeah, it's <laughs> you can get him in on what I've done it in 40. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Coming wow. back from Scotland. So, how long was each leg? We tend to how about a couple two and, of and a half hours, hours yeah. something like that maximum. I mean, the fuel tank's five hours, of course, but you know, what we were no rush. It was all they were with. We weren't trying yeah. to get anywhere fast. Yeah. So, well, what's one of the things that you say you'd learned from travelling? Say so something that you could teach someone like myself, long distance. Well, what's uh, one of the big planning? <laughs> <laughs> good and have alternatives. We tried to alternatives. we tried to plan it as best we could. Uh, but when the he weather hits, then it's, it's just played by it. Well, the, be like the beauty of France is every town has got an airfield. Okay. So on the way it's back, flat as well, because there were showers all over the place, right? We just flew from town to town. That's crazy. Rob, Rob, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You spot an airfield so it can divert to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we set off from Troy, within about 45 minutes, an hour, we hit bad weather. So. Where is there an airfield right? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's one there, right? Just land. So we landed. Oh, yeah, I'd gone That's 10 miles so north, so cool. up the east of Paris, and then I turned back because was, it was lightning and black cloud ahead. I turned back and we raced the, the weather back. And we, I'd seen an airfield 10 miles back. So we flew back, just landed, and then it poured down. We sat in the aeroplane until it stopped. And the Met guy, the Met guy, because in off. France, you have to get the Met before they'll, they'll let sure. you go. Okay. So the Met guy... You have to print it or just on your phone? Just, just, yeah. just have a brief, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and he says, because um, he knew we were, we were trying to get back to the UK that day. He says, he says, you, he says East Midlands, Taft's brilliant. He says the whole UK's got high pressure. He says the rest of Europe's, you know. Clegged in. Got low pressure, oh. yeah. So the weather was coming around the high pressure on, on an orbit and straight yeah. into France. It says the further west you go, better. the better, better weather. So, so it says to Rolla, says, I think we ought to head west yeah. and try and Let's come go around, around it, yeah. up north, yeah. Yeah. So, so then you took off again and had a sort of <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> smile on, on a well. westerly route, <laughs> uh, uh, just going from town to town again. Oh, and I feel there. So in the showers. Oh, yeah, okay. And then about half an hour to where we, we were going to land at Abbeville, yeah, for fuel. It started getting worse, didn't it? Yeah. And it was shower here, shower there. And you would and Rob says, in. I don't like this. <laughs> and uh, he says, I think we, we need to turn back. And I said, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> and, I, and, and I said, hang about, Rob. I can just see a yeah. glimmer of light. Right. I said, just between those two showers, just head for that glimmer of light. Yeah. And he did. And, right. perfect, beyond, and beyond it. Beyond it so, so had you not done it and turned around, you'd, well, have, you'd have probably closed yeah, in and you'd have had another night. Another night yeah. yeah. But when we was coming, when we did this westerly track, aren't you? Oh, when yeah. we did this westerly track, we we were right on the border of, uh, of Paris yeah. zone, yeah. which we couldn't enter. Yeah. But we'd also we'd got a nuclear power station on the other side, Sorry. and it's uh, is it twenty thousand oh, euro fine if you go in it. Oh. Well, it, it, it's a <laughs> massive fine. So we were on the on the map. We were looking. We got this curve here for the trying to go around it, and, yeah. and, and, and Paris zone there. We had to get between it. Between it. And the weather was trying to push us into the nuclear zone. See the no way. So we had to. Oh. We had another Guys. moment there, didn't we? That is amazing.
I did it. Um, finally, uh, got my license restriction moved. And um, yeah, there you go. Safely back in Canuck now. Absolutely epic. What a flight. Um, hey, done some distance. But guys, I want to thank you for just spending some time uh, and joining me with my flight. So, yeah. See you in a minute. guys I'm really looking forward to sort of being able to take you guys out flying with me and just go exploring guys it's really really worth it and uh, just a little flight back and now I have my land Steve which I'm just about to load this back in the boot nice I'm really thirsty I've been up there since I've been flying for two hours now around now guys I'm gonna go get myself some dinner. Well, uh, I finally completed my flight training today. And you guys can see. <sighs> awesome. So guys, I'm gonna get some food. I'll see you guys back at the start. Everything looks good. I'm gonna give this plane a bit of a check over. 